Well, I've just been uh, just finished a gig at the uh, at the Hot Club, which is a renowned jazz venue. Um, I've had a great time, and I've been playing with uh, two young Portuguese musicians and an English pianist. A kind of uh, this is an Anglo-Portuguese alliance or a Portuguese Anglo alliance, and I've had a great time. Um, I hope the guys have too. Um, the bass player is Antonio Quintino, the drummer is Joel Silva, and Daniel and I, Daniel Houston, we've played together before in the past. Um, the the guys, I think, probably um, have not played a lot of straight-ahead jazz for a while because it seems to be no longer fashionable. But I've um, played a program which I think is appropriate to the way I feel about jazz. Um, I hope that it appeals to the public in general. Hopefully, it will produce more people interested in jazz. The club itself, I'm glad to say, is an ideal place, an ideal endroit, as they say in French. It's a boîte de nuit. It's a true jazz club. Um, how Luis Hilario managed to reproduce the, the club 50 yards from the old place I don't know, I think it's a tribute to the government in, uh, in Portugal because in England that would never happen. If a if place is, has a fire and is condemned, there's no way the government would give you a, a, similar, a similar place 50 yards down the road. But anyway, um, good, good luck to him. Um, I admire him greatly. I know it's not a one-man band, it's not just Lewis, there are other people involved. But um, anybody who puts, his jazz, who puts jazz on, puts his neck on the line, and um, he's not going to make a fortune, but he's, he's promoting jazz, and that's what it's all about. Thank you. Quer dizer, foi um grande prazer tocar com o Art Thiemann, que, claro que eu, vem da minha terra, e, bah, mas foi uma... Foi um encontro luso-britânico, uh, old school, jazz, straight ahead jazz, foi, foi sempre, pá, sempre 100%, sempre muita energia e adoramos o concerto, nós todos, já falámos agora que foi, foi uma coisa que gostávamos de repetir mais. Tocar com o Art foi uma experiência, bem, eu, na verdade já tinha tocado com ele no ano passado, uh, mas assim em trio, com bateria, em trio não, em quarteto, desta vez em quarteto, foi uma experiência incrível. O, não há muita gente que, toque, que ainda toca assim jazz antigo e, e, e eu, esse foi um, foi um concerto muito, muito divertido para, para nós que estamos a tocar e acho que também para, para as pessoas que estavam a ouvir, para as poucas pessoas, infelizmente, mas que um bom público que estavam a ouvir, acho que também se divertiram e foi um, foi um grande, grande prazer tocar assim música standards antigos é, é, bom, não acontece muitas vezes e quando acontece é, acho, que é, acho que é bom Tocar com o Art Timan foi, foi muito bom foi, é um concerto à antiga daqueles cheios de swing e cheios de humor daqueles concertos que nós estamos a tocar e estamos, estamos mesmo a divertir-nos e foi incrível, já não tinha um concerto assim há muito, há muito tempo, só de swing e com muito humor e muita energia, foi muito bom. You can probably tell from uh, from my appearance, not very much hair left, but um, when I first played here many years ago in Lisbon, I played at the old hot club. And just to, uh, to, to uh, show how old I am, I actually played um, during the time of Luis Villas Boas, who is uh, a legend. He's uh, one of the, the main 
protagonists, the, the chap who put on jazz on the, jazz on the map in Portugal. And uh, I remember this with us both, and I and Duarte de Mendonca having a meal together, and then I came along and played here many, many years ago. It was back in 19... <coughs> um, it means I'm too embarrassed to tell you how, how long ago it was. But here I am playing, playing in this club for the first time. It's different. Um, it's no longer underground. Um, but nevertheless, it still has the same, um, same atmosphere. You know, a sort of, I've said it. I said it previously. I can only, I can only express it, because I can't speak Portuguese. But I speak a few words of French. It's a boîte de nuit. It's a nightclub. It's a jazz club. And um, this, yeah, the black walls and the lights and bits. But it's different from the old place because it has, it has a good acoustic. It has, I can't remember the piano in the old place, but this is a, is a pretty good grand piano. Daniel Houston was very pleased with it. Um, and it has all, sing, all singing, all dancing lights. We now have a comfortable behind me. There's a, there's a band room. We, use, we call it a green room for some reason in England. There's a band room which is comfortable. You can sit down and put your feet up and then uh, Lewis will come in and say, you're on in five minutes. And then we'll all say, I can't go on, I can't go on, the pressure is too great. But yeah, there's a, seriously, there's a green room and it's got everything. There's a bar at the back, people who want to have a drink and have a talk can do so towards the back. People, the aficionados, is that a, is that a, a Portuguese word? It's a Spanish word, isn't it? But anyway, the aficionados can, stand, can sit at the front and listen to the music. The people who want to have a drink and chat can be at the back. But it's a perfect jazz club. And thank you for, uh, thank you everybody in uh, Portugal for allowing me the privilege of playing here. 